Today I'm doing a very quick five, five minute makeup look for busy mums, back to school, running errands, something that kind of looks like you're not wearing any makeup that still takes barely any time. Because I know I just did a no makeup makeup look, but it was actually kind of time consuming because we did fake freckles. Um, a lot of layers of makeup and this one is just going to be a lot more simple. This video is sponsored by Smashbox. As you know, I've always used Smashbox, so it's a brand that I already love and you would have seen me use this primer before. This is the primer I'm going to be highlighting in this video, the Photo Finish Primer. Primer is so important for every makeup look, of course, to prepare the skin for foundation or for the base and to also help lock it in all day and to keep the skin looking nice and smooth. So this one was invented by Smashbox. Oh, this was their first, oh my god, I just caught it in here, <laughs> lols. When applying primer, I start at the center of my face, around my nose, chin, and forehead where my pores are the largest, and then I just spread it out toward the hairline. I also like to focus it in areas like under my eyes and around my smile lines just to make sure that those areas are going to get the support that they need. Smashbox as well, if you didn't know, is the number one selling primer brand in the United States. This one I love because as soon as you put it on, I mean it's clear so you can't really see where it's going but you can feel where it's going because of how silky and velvety your skin feels. Something else that I've done to help me look a bit younger, not that I'm old but you know. Uh, is put my hair in a ponytail because that pulls your face up like this. My next favorite product for every day, as you can see, I use this all the time, is the Curtis Collection by Victoria Naked Glow CC Cream. This has SPF 20 and it's the most natural looking CC cream I've ever had. If you can actually see it coming out on my fingers, it's white. Oh no, I'm running out. It's like white, but it has little pigment pearls inside and when you apply it to your skin, you can see when you start to blend it, it gets a tint to it. Anyway, I love it. It's magical. I found it so magical because it's like white, but then when you blend it in, it's got that stuff. Okay, now I'm going to use my Essence Make Me Brow. Instead of using a pencil or a gel, which takes a long time, just take a plumping brow gel that's got a tint to it, like this one through the brows to give it some structure, volume, and definition. I like to take the brush backwards to coat each side of the hair. While that's drying, I'm going to apply my mascara, but first I'm gonna curl my lashes. If you're a very busy person, get your eyelashes lifted, like get a lash perm and a tint. They really help save time. You might have to take an hour out of your day to go get it done, but then it lasts like two months and it is the most convenient thing in the world if you're a busy person. Um, but if you don't have that and you don't want to do that, just curl your lashes and apply volumizing mascara. This is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. Focusing it on the roots of the lashes. I like to pull at the length a little bit just so there's not too much product there. Just to keep it looking natural. Now if you want to fill in any gaps of your brows, now is when you can take a brow pencil. This is the IT Cosmetics brow pencil. But like I just showed you, I'm doing it after I do the gel just so that I'm not applying it where I don't really need it. That's as natural as it gets for me. This product here is the Base by Lara Bingles Cream to Powder Bronzing Base. Velvet Bronzing Base. Of course, using cream products wherever possible just to keep it looking nice and natural. I'm just going to use it on the edges of my face to add some warmth. If you love the Chanel Soleil bronzer, the one that looks like this in a pot, it's a really good dupe for that. I'm gonna then take my Smashbox LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color. We only need a very small amount of this because my gosh, it's really pigmented. But I like it because it's dual purpose. It does have a sponge thing on the end, but I find the sponge is a bit too firm. But I prefer to just use my fingers and then dab it in. Mm. Okay, then, and only then, once you've done everything, can you take a concealer. This is the new Studio Skin from Smashbox. It's best to do it last so that you don't add more than you need to. I've already gone and added the primer, the CC cream, and now the tan and the blush. It's way better to do this last because you're not going to accidentally rub it off while you might, you know, have a chance of touching your face while applying something else. And 
those other products might have provided um, an element of coverage so you're not going to accidentally cake up your face as you can tell I just used the one brush for like everything so minimal brushes used finish it off with a lip balm because that's more of a stain so I'm going to take my chapstick night repair hmm, look at that skin Such a very quick, very easy, very natural looking makeup look. Oh, my arch on this brow is a little bit lower. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Mwah.